asked that same question at the last debate that we appeared at at Old Town. What was your involvement in the parking meter deal? Your answer was not much. So no. which is it? Uh, it was none. I think my answer was no, none. No, we have it on tape. It oh, was not much. well, then that was uh, then I misspoke. And actually, this is the question that I was going to ask him. So maybe we'll have to go another round. My question was going to be, why is he knowingly lying about my record on this issue? Um, uh, his mail piece that, that came out about the parking meter deal says that I was a partner at the law firm when it did the deal. Um, first of all, backing up, the problem with the parking meter deal was that Mayor Daley and the city council, again, a rubber stamp, go along, get along city council, made the decision to sell those meters out from underneath all of you. Once that decision was made, a law firm had to bid on the project and do, do the deal, represent the city in negotiations with um, uh, the meter company. That happened to be my law firm where I worked as a uh, mid-level associate at the time in a different department in a, in a law firm full of about 600 people. Didn't know that we did that deal until after it went bad, about two years later when it was reported in the, in the newspaper that it was my uh, former law firm that drafted the contract. You know, I'm going to take an extra second on this one. Um, and so the uh, allegation that I ever, ever earned a single dime from that is patently and flatly false, and he knows it. Um, the, the idea that I ever benefited from it or that the law firm benefited unfairly from it is patently false, and he knows it. Brian comes out of the school of thought that it is more get-along, go-along politicians. He will be the type of rubber stamper who will continue, okay, well, continue along the same, same path. All right, I think, I think there's a, I think